uh, just begin by defining what is psychometrics. So you see, if we look at the word psychometrics, okay, there are two parts to this word. The first part is psycho, and the second one is metrics. It is essentially a uh, area of psychology which deals with measuring of psychological constructs. Okay? That means uh, any in social sciences, we are actually going to work with a lot of attitudinal behavioral constructs, right? Be it marketing, be it OB, be it HR, be it uh, today, I see a lot of papers being done, even in information systems, disciplines that are techni very technical, but there are also a lot of human elements are being looked at, behavioral elements are looked at. So essentially, this is a stream, this is a part of psychology which looks at how do we measure abstract psychological constructs, right? So that is, that is what we are uh, looking at and scale construction. So let me define what is a scale that is the, that we are going to look at. Now scale, uh, the word scale that I use here refers to uh, basically measures of psychological constructs. That means the word scale can also be looked at as measure. Okay, so uh, we are looking at uh, measures of psychological construct and this whole FDP is going to look at two things. One, which is looking at how do we develop valid measures of latent psychological constructs, social psychological constructs. So essentially, how do we develop instruments that can capture, that can measure psychological constructs. And believe me, there are full theses done on scale development, on measure development. So there are theses uh, that are written on just developing measures of certain constructs, right? So we'll, we'll look at, so this is a big domain in itself that we are looking at. Okay, uh, let me put very clearly, that we are not going to look at ability or mental test. So for example, some of you would have given uh, exams like GRE, GMAT, right? These are ability tests, right? These are uh, uh, tests of ability. So we are not going to look at that. We are largely going to look at how do we measure constructs that we use in our discipline, social, social sciences. And so my discussion is going to revolve around that. And the second one is focus on development of reflective constructs and not formative constructs. So just keep this, underline these two words, reflective and formative. I will uh, talk about what do we mean by these different, these two uh, words, reflective and formative. But just keep this in mind that we are going to, our discussion largely is going to revolve around reflective constructs, okay? Right, so soft sciences versus hard sciences. What is a soft science and what is a hard science? So there is a very popular saying in psychology which goes like, God gave all the easy problems to physicists and all the difficult problems to psychologists, right? So this is not to sort of uh, make a case that we are uh, sort of doing great work and physicists are not doing great work. But the point is that the discipline of psychology or in general management and, and social sciences, it is very difficult because we are going to, we are working with certain phenomena. We are working with issues that are very abstract, that are very difficult to really understand. For example, let me give you an example. We have all grown up with this word called, called as intelligence. Right? Intelligence. Uh, since our childhood, we have been using this word IQ, intelligence, who is more intelligent, you are less intelligent. But let me ask you, who has seen intelligence? Is there anybody who has seen intelligence? 
is there anybody who has who can hold intelligence in hand and say okay i can feel intelligence this is the tangible intelligence that we have i actually make a claim that nobody has ever seen intelligence and nobody will ever see intelligence so what is intelligence intelligence is nothing but it is a very abstract concept right we can only see the exhibit the outcome of intelligence but actually what is intelligence it is nowhere to be seen nobody can see it another term that is there that we use so often in management motivation right are you motivated you are low on motivation you are high on motivation and so on. but can you tell me what motivation looks like is there anybody who can hold a motivation in hand and say okay this is intelligence this is motivation motivation no motivation is only a concept motivation is only an idea but there is no body who can say okay this is the boundary of of motivation this is what motivation actually looks like in uh, in reality whereas in a hard science if you go to physics chemistry right in biology these are all examples of hard sciences there i can say what is speed speed is nothing but distance divided by time so i can measure physically how much distance an object travels in a given time and say this is speed right i can mix two chemicals in laboratory and say okay this is yeah, these are my chemicals this is what the outcome is i can dissect certain animals in biology lab and say okay this is what this is how the creature looks like from inside right so in a soft science it is very difficult to actually there to understand what is the construct and to therefore measure that construct and all that we are going to talk about in the next 5 days is going to revolve around what do we do in order to measure properly our constructs in soft sciences our constructs in social science now what is science science is something that is done in lab making measurements with instruments accurate to several decimal places and involves controlled repeatable experiments i have just mentioned soft sciences are very difficult to study you can't start and stop what you want can't control all or many of the variables and even find hard to decide what a variable is so i just mentioned what is intelligence what is engagement what is motivation what is commitment if you actually think about it seriously we don't really know what these constructs actually look like right we don't even know what is it right therefore we are all making efforts to get as close as possible to what possibly these constructs would actually be but still we will never be sure whether these are measures that we are developing are actually right indicate indicators of those latent constructs so again how do you measure social frustration how do we operationalize a concept right so we will use this word again uh, a lot operationalization right so operationalization of a concept it means if you ever come across even in research papers if you come across this this word operationalization operationalization means whether we can how do we measure a concept so whenever you come across operationalization word always remember operationalization means how do we measure a particular concept right so how do we assign numbers how do we count how do we uh, attach different uh, ways of uh, capturing the qualities of these concepts this is all that psychometrics deal with and all scientists have to think about how do we operationalize concepts so if a physicist is working on uh, is working on uh, Uh, sort of uh, uh, let's say speed they also have to think about how do they measure how do they operationalize their 
concept, right? So that is something that we have to look at. And the task of operationalization is more difficult and less exact in soft sciences as there are so many uncontrolled variables. So they, we don't even know what the construct is and there are so many variables that could be impacting what we are looking at. So there are so many uncontrolled variables. That means there could be many variables that may be impacting, that may be influencing our, our variables. So what is actually our variable of interest? It is very difficult, it is very hard to really think about what is that construct and then how do we measure that, that construct, right? So soft sciences are much more difficult and to some of us intellectually more challenging, right? So that is, that is the... So research in social sciences is about abstract concepts of theoretical importance, they are called as, remember I, I mentioned in the second slide that we are going to look at latent social psychological constructs. What does latent mean? Latent here means, latent in, in the terminology of psychometrics, we will use this word a lot. So remember latent means that this is hidden, right? So this is something that is not visible to us. Social psychological, social means it is relevant to so social phenomena or uh, societal phenomena and psychological, it is something related to uh, psychology. It is related, something related to brain, it is something related to how our mind functions. So it is this whole discipline of, of uh, social sciences largely, behavioral sciences, it deals with how do we conceptualize and operationalize. So please remember two words. Let me just uh, put it up, up here. The two words that, that we are going to look at. How do we conceptualize? Okay. How do we conceptualize? So that is number one. And the second one is how do we operationalize, right? So how do we operationalize to con of the construct that, that we are interested in? What is operationalization? Operationalization means understanding, understand and define our construct, right? Whereas operationalization, always remember operationalization, whenever you read any paper or anything, remember operationalization means how do we now measure the construct that we have determined. So we have to think about both these, these things together, right? So we have to think about what is going to be, this, this could also be defined as how do we define our conceptual or conceptualize our construct and how then how do we measure the construct. So, all the time we are going to be looking at these two ideas together. Uh, first, how do we theorize and then how do we capture? 